I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about waterline liners. I started this quest to find the ideal waterline liner. Like basically something that would be more of like either a white, a nude, a champagne, a some kind of waterline liner that would make my eyes look more open and alive and awake and make me feel more beautiful. That might have been asking a lot, but I actually have a whole collection of waterline liners. I wore a different one each day. I will show you applying it, in some cases giving you a first impression of it. And then I give you an update later on in the day as to how it held up. So you can actually see all of my waterline liners basically back to back and you can decide which ones you like, you can see which ones I liked, how they worked, that's the gist of it. So if you want to see my waterline liner collection and which ones worked and which ones not so much, then just keep watching. Okay, so my first waterline liner is actually the one that I am most excited to try. I've never, I just got this, I haven't used it yet. It is the Urban Decay 24 hour glide on eye pencil. This is actually the Naked Basics series. So it is Venus on one side and then it's Crave on the other side. So it's basically like a, how would I describe the color? It's kind of an icy, it's got a shimmer. Really want to try using a long wearing like shimmer on, on the waterline. So I think I heard this from, I think it was Pretty Shiny Sparkly's channel. That if you think about it, like you want your waterline to be, it's sort of wet, so to speak. So a shimmer would work perfectly and look much more natural than a matte shade. I do have some matte ones I'm going to try, but... I just wanted to give this one a try. I like to rub it on the back of my hand a little bit to warm it up first. It kind of glides on a little bit softer. The creamy formula, which worries me that it may not last very long, but you probably can't really see it in this light. It is very creamy, which makes it kind of, like it's getting all over my lower lashes, which I hate. And it makes me feel like, is it really gonna last that long? I don't know, I'll see when I put on the rest of my makeup, but I will definitely check in a little bit later in the day and see if this is held up and how well it's held up. Okay, waterline check-in. It is shifted, so it's still kind of there, but it's like, it's not really in my waterline anymore. I will say it didn't irritate my eyes, close above my eyeball here. It didn't necessarily stay put, it just kind of shifted towards my lash line. I don't know, we'll see how the rest of them go. Okay, so today's waterline liner is the Wet n Wild Coal Liner, and this is in white, and this is so old. I can't even tell you how long I've had this. Hopefully they don't expire because I've had this forever. And I'm gonna rub it on the back of my hand a little bit. This one is actually quite stiff. You really need to soften it up before you use it. Because it's a stiffer formula, I feel like it stays in my waterline, like it's not clumping around my lash line like the one I used yesterday. Okay, I spoke too soon. It's a little bit on this side, but not quite as much as the Urban Decay yesterday. This is staying a little bit more in the waterline, but because it's a white, it's, it's really obvious that I have it on. Like, it's a bit dramatic for daytime, but you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna live with it. So I will check in and let you know how it holds up. Waterline update, it's pretty much gone. <laughs> you know, it, it just, I'll be honest, because I'm testing mascaras and eyeliners as well, and because it was so white and so creamy that my eyeliner and mascara and everything kind of got in it, and it just made it kind of this gray color, so it wasn't really working all that well. It didn't last, to be honest. I mean, the Wet n Wild pencils are like, they're so inexpensive and so cheap and so affordable, but they're not great for a waterline just because they, they just don't last at all. And I think the stark white, I think, was, it's a little bit too harsh, especially for daytime. I don't think it's the best waterline solution. Okay, so today's waterline color is, or pencil, is the NARS Larger Than Life Long Wearing Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Rue Bonaparte. I forget where I heard about this from, but I did read somewhere that it was like the ultimate waterline shade. It is very like, you probably can't even see it. It just kind of blends right in. It's a very like nude flesh tone shade. So it's a very natural waterline shade, especially for daytime, if you can see that. You're not gonna get quite as much pop as you do with the white, but you know, sometimes you want something a little bit more natural, a little bit more flesh toned. It applies really easily, really evenly, really smoothly. I mean, NARS for the price, like you expect it to be really good. I will definitely keep you posted and see 
if this truly is a long wearing. Okay, waterline update. I will admit on this side, there was some issues with my eyeliner and it kind of, I don't know, it got really messy so that that side kind of is not a good side to judge. But this side, my eyeliner was okay, but if you can see, it's really faint. You can't tell much, but it pretty much just clumped on my lash line. So, so far, I'm not really having much luck with waterline liners. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's my eyes. Maybe my eyes are not meant to have makeup in the waterline. It's a possibility. Okay, so today's waterline liner may be not a great shade for the waterline. I don't know, it's an experiment, but it's the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in Gilded, which is actually more of a gold, so I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work in the waterline, if it's gonna look natural or not, but we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna warm it up in the back of my hand a little bit. It's very gold, so. This might be a bit much, but I've been trying to find, well, I'm trying to find a good waterline color in general, but I've definitely been trying to find a good like shimmer one that will last. It's not natural. I don't even know if you can tell because it's really subtle. It's not a natural look. It's very pigmented. And I tested this on the back of my hand the other day and I washed my hand several times and realized that it was still on the back of my hand. So it definitely is very long lasting. So it goes on very smooth. It's very pigmented. We'll see how long it lasts. I will check in later. Okay, waterline color update. In this lighting, I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna get really up close and personal with you. While it has faded on the actual part that rubs up against my eye, it didn't get clumpy like the other ones. It just kind of like settled there so that it's just this kind of really nice, I can get I can get a good angle where you can see formula wise this is great and to be honest with you I have this on the back of my hand it's on my hand and it has not faded and I have been cooking today I've washed my hands a dozen times and it stayed so I gotta say Stila when you say waterproof you mean waterproof okay so today's waterline liner is going to be the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Cajole Cole Cajol. I don't know how you say that. Cajol, Cajol, whatever. Anyway, it's their liner in the shade Nude. This is more, there's no shimmer, it's a matte shade, but it is a little bit more flesh tone, so it's supposed to be a little bit more natural. Very creamy. I like the creamy formula for applying, but I do feel like the creamy formula, you know, anytime you have a creamy formula, it kind of gets in your lower lash line, which bugs me a little bit. I don't mind it on my lower lash line, I just, I feel like it clumps sometimes. But it is more natural than say like a matte white. I'm not sure that like this shade is the most flattering, but you know, it is more of a flesh tone so it's less like obvious than a white. But you know, we'll see how it lasts. I'll check in later. Okay, waterline update. Not really there anymore. A little bit, but it's pretty much completely faded. I mean, it's still kind of there, it just it kind of clumped in the along my lash line like most of the others. Eh. Okay, so today's waterline liner is the NARS Larger Than Life Long Wearing Eyeliner, and this is in Santa Monica Boulevard. I give this one a try. It's very creamy. Because it's so creamy, it does have that tendency to show up a little bit, like clump up a little bit on the lash line. Okay, that's white. <laughs> like that's, some white right there. Yeah, that's a bit much for daytime. It's intense, but we will see how long it lasts throughout the day. Okay, so waterline liner update. It's really hard to tell in this light, but it's still there. It's just, it's not even. So from a distance, it doesn't look bad. And I will say it's been really, really hot today. So, you know, if it was gonna <laughs> melt off, it would have melted off today. It's just like, if you can see right here, it's it's not smooth and even, so up close it does not look natural at all. But it did stay in place better than I think a lot of the other modern line liners. It's just the white was really bright and then it it just didn't didn't stay smooth and even. So that I think if maybe if you were on stage for like a stage performance or something, if that's something you do, then it could be really good. But for like every day for a natural look, it's not it's not gonna give you a natural look at all. Okay, so for today's waterline color, I apologize for the AC noise, super hot in here. But today's uh, waterline is going to be the, if I can read it in this lighting, it's the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Cole Kajal Eyeliner. 
It's in the Natural Nude Eyes set. Basically like the champagne -y color. It comes in a set of three, which I think this is gonna be a really good color for the waterline. We're just gonna have to see how it actually holds up on the waterline. So I warmed up in the back of my hand. It goes on really smooth and creamy. Color-wise, I'm really liking this. It's like a natural enough for daytime, but it gives the eyes a little bit of a pop. I'm really liking this as far as the shade and it applies very easily. Very natural, but just gives a sort of a nice little pop to the eyes. But we'll see how it holds up throughout the day. Okay, if I can focus here, waterline liner update. It, it's kind of hard to see. It definitely faded. It, it definitely kind of gathered on my lash line, but it's very similar, I feel like, to my Stila, which was probably my favorite of all of them. Because it's a very natural shade, it doesn't, it just still gives a little bit of a glow, but not... It doesn't look like obvious that it collected in the lash line and also collected very evenly like it's not it's not clumpy you know overall because the shade is so great and because it faded nicely i gotta say i'm i'm definitely gonna give this one a try again so i decided to throw in one more waterline liner because i just grabbed this one because i heard like an amazing review about it i think from laura lee's channel and not this particular color but she did say this was great for tight lining and this was a pricey pencil, I gotta say. It is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon. And this shade is in the buff. In the buff. I thought this looked like an amazing shade. It's it's pricey, probably more than I would normally spend on a tight line liner, but I haven't had great luck with tight line liners, as you can probably tell, so I decided I really wanted to give this a try. Let me warm this up on the back of my hand. Ooh, the color on the back of my hand is really pretty. I don't know if you barely see that but okay so first impression i love the color i don't know how it's showing up on camera it's just such a beautiful like natural shimmer went on very smooth very creamy so yeah i will let you know how this holds up throughout the day fingers crossed okay so waterline update i don't know if you can see but it held up really well i think I'm like, I'm happy with this. I'm definitely going to use this again because I love the shade. Like, I love how it gives just sort of like a natural sheen. So it makes the eyes look brighter, but pardon the one false lash, but that's a whole other video. It did fade, but in a nice enough way so that I'm, I'm super happy with it. I'm definitely going to be using it again. And that was my waterline liner collection. As you can see, it was a bit of a struggle, but I think I may have found some favorites, but I wanna know what your favorite waterline liner is, whether you go natural or whether you do bright colors or whether you go more deep and dark and do a black waterline liner. Any waterline liners that you love that you think last all day, I wanna hear your suggestions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you join me next time. Today we are talking about the dreaded dark circles. They show up under your eyes. I never had a problem with them until, I don't know, I hit a certain age. I don't even remember what age that was, but it was like all of a sudden I would do my makeup and I'd be like, why does it look like I have like two black eyes? 